tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, guys, we're going to be talking about LeBron James's I Promise School in his hometown of Akron, Ohio. Now, his school has been in the news for all the wrong reasons, guys. They're failing. They are failing bit time. The LeBron James Foundation actually helped start this school. It is a public school, by the way. So the taxpayers are actually funding this. And for four years now, it has been a complete failure. Now, of course, you know, you got them out there, the people out there, some people out there anyway, talking about, oh, it's the virus and all this other stuff. No, you're failing. You're failing. Guys, when you can't get a single student to actually read at grade level, that is a problem. That is a major problem. When you can't get a student to do math at the right grade level, that is a problem, guys. It's a serious problem. Now, they just had a meeting the other day and um, the I Promise School and their allies are having a full blown meltdown. And they are rallying against the uh, Akron school school board, basically calling them bullies for releasing this information that the school is failing. So let's go ahead and get into this, guys. Over here on Breitbart, supporters of LeBron James's I Promise School accuse school board of bullying for releasing test scores. Now, guys, this is not bullying. Now, the people in Akron, guess what? You're actually paying for this school. Your tax dollars are actually going to this school, even though the LeBron James Foundation actually does um, supplement uh, some of the costs. But you, the taxpayers, are actually paying for this. Now, where I live at, guess what? My tax dollars, it actually goes to the Sheldon Independent School District. So my money is going towards these schools. And that's why I said that um, people need to be in the know about the people on the school board and the teachers. They need to be in the know. But this isn't anything unusual, guys. When um, your school is failing that badly, guess what? It needs to be public information. Why? Because you, the public, the taxpayers at your paying for it. This is nothing new. Now, out here in the Houston area, Houston IHD. I don't believe I've actually talked about this mainly because um, this sports channel here. But since we're talking about LeBron James, I need to bring this into this. The Houston Independent School District was taken over by the state of Texas. Yeah, this is actually from um, from March here. And school has just started back for uh, Houston ISD. And I was actually watching on uh, the lo- the local news because the teachers now they actually they actually had to reapply for their jobs, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, they did. And they don't get to make up their own lesson plan. They have to follow, I believe, a state state on sanction plan. The teachers really can't deviate from that, from what I actually understand. So this is nothing new. It says it right here. Houston ISD taken over by a Texas agency due to failing grade. They failed. It is just that simple, man. It is just that simple. The the largest school district in the state got taken over. Why? Because they were failing. They were failing. Of course, you know, the left out here in the Houston area, they they were actually melting down. But however, you failed. It's just that simple. So going back to this here. I believe it's the same situation, guys. The taxpayers need to be in the know that their tax dollars are actually going to failing schools. It says here, supporters and administrators of Akron's I Promise School, sponsored by NBA star LeBron James, are accusing the Akron School Board of bullying, bullying them by publicly revealing the school's rock bottom testing scores in math, reading and other subjects. Ahead of the uh, 2023 school year, the Akron School Board spoke of its alarm over the fact that the four year old school has not had a single eighth grade student pass the state's math test. Not one. And the special schools, other metrics are equally as bad. And they're not actually even being taken over yet. They may actually end up being end up being taken over. Just like a Houston Independent School District. But it goes on. It says, but at an August 28th school board meeting, 
representatives of the I Promise School blasted the district and board for bullying school administrators and alleging that the public criticism can only, quote, further marginalize already disadvantaged students. The Akron Beacon reported. See, now they're already playing the victim. Playing the victim is not going to get these test scores up. You need to stop playing the victim. Why is your school failing? And don't give me the virus. I don't want to hear that. But of course, you you guys know that will be the excuse. Now, check this out. It says here, quote, your actions degraded every Akron public schools educator that has ever taught the current and past I promise students that you have singled out locally and nationally, said the school's senior director, Victoria McGee. Absolutely. It was hurtful to the LeBron James Family Foundation, but more importantly, detrimental to our students. Well, you guys are failing the students. I mean, you guys have done a terrible job. That is why this is public knowledge. This is why. Board President Derek Hall, though, pushed back on on their characterization of their concerns over student performance at the school. He says, quote, if you go back and you actually watch the board meeting, nobody on this board, no speaker or presenter made any comments that any rational person would call belittling, bullying or anything of that nature. There's a distinction between what the board says and how folks uh, how folks that we uh, say and craft their own self-serving narratives. Hall said. Board President Hall also added that the I Promise School is not the only one being given serious scrutiny. Yeah, they're not the only ones. They're not. He said all of Akron schools are undergoing a review, not just James's school. The LeBron James school has been stunned by the national headlines saying that none of his students have passed state mandated testing. The Ohio Department of Education also pointed out that black students and those with disabilities at the I Promise School are testing in the bottom 5% in the state. All despite the promises that James made when he launched the school to great fanfare back in 2018. Now, guys, I had no problem whatsoever with LeBron James actually starting his school. I believe, you know, that more athletes, you know, they say they want to work with their community. Yeah, do something like this. But if the school is failing, something needs to change. Just because you throw your name on a school, just because you actually financially support a school doesn't mean that the school is going to work out. That people are actually doing a good job. Obviously, these people at LeBron James school are doing a horrible job. Horrible. These students can't read. They can't do math. It's just that simple. Uh, it goes on. He says, for his part, the LeBron James Foundation that runs the school tried to blame the pandemic. That's what I talked about right there. At least in part for his three years running of low test scores. The school, though, seems to be failing its students miserably all across the board, especially in math. WKYC TV noted that none of the I promise I promise on schools grade levels have no more than a one percent proficiency in math. Whoa. Whereas even the low rated Akron City schools, some of the worst in the state, have achieved at least a 17.6 percent math proficiency level. And that's not even good. But I promise getting one percent on the high end. Yeah, that's not good. To thwart the uh, criticism, I, I promise school officials brought a large group of supporters to the August 28 meeting and all praised the school for helping children who are difficult to reach in other schools. Parents, teachers and even restaurant owners all said the school is doing a great job with the school's children. No, they're not. They are not doing a great job. They are doing a terrible job. I mean, not one student. Not one. Not one at all. Regardless, both the Akron School Board and, and Ohio education officials have all said they are working to pour more tax dollars. So they're going to waste more of your money, it seems. And state resources into the I Promise School in an effort to at least bring the school students up to the same levels 
as low as those levels are as students in the city's other public schools. So the other public schools are still failing. So they think it's just an achievement, a great achievement, just to match the failing levels of the other schools. Man, this thing is a disaster. It is a complete disaster, guys. Akron public schools are failing. Failing. But the LeBron James I Promise School, the reason why we're actually talking about this is because LeBron James started this thing. Everybody knows about this school. This is why this is actually a national story. But I do believe that the taxpayers in Akron should be informed. This is why this is actually out there. It has nothing to do with um, bullying anybody. But LeBron James's allies, man, they're having a complete meltdown over this. But you failed. You failed. Something needs to change. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports, two fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.